All right, welcome to this week's group training. I hope everyone's having a great day. If you're watching the live, if you're watching on the replay, thanks for being here. We're going to go over a, a couple things. Today we're talking ADHD fitness, one of my favorite topics. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is um, stimulating the brain while the body works. So what does that mean? But a lot of people with ADHD get distracted. You know, when you're in the gym session, when you're doing your reps, things are going on. There's so many things to look at, and it's very easy. You can very get easily distracted. To help us prevent those distractions is stimulating our brain while our body works. That's why I recommend walking backwards. You know, walking backwards, you have to actually think and be intentional with each step. So that's just, that's an example of stimulating your brain while your body works. When you do that, it's going to help limit distractions to help you stay present, to help you stay intentional. Uh, another thing that what I like to do to help stimulate your brain while the body works, to help limit distractions, is counting each portion of the rep. So let's check. Let's. I mean, the the the, the one exercise that this doesn't really work with with squ with squats because hopefully with squats it's so intense that you're just intentional regardless. But t t take the bench press for example. Um, I want you to count, not I'll, I'll count your reps. Of course, I mean, well, really, I just want you guys to train until you break your form, and not really worry about the the number of the reps too much. But what I do want you to count to help limit distractions, to help you stay intentional with the repetitions is one second up. So one, and then you count one, two down. One second up, two seconds down. See, this is going to help you master your form and technique and you counting is stimulating your brain while your body works. So you, I, we could do one Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. You doing that, Counting each portion of the rep is going to help stimulate your brain. It's going to help limit distraction. And you want to go slower on the way down because that's where we build the majority of our strength and muscles on our way down. We build our power. Actually, we build our power and our strength on the way up. We build our muscle and control on the way down. So I want you to go slower controlling the weight and be explosive pushing the weight out. All right. Also, next thing is I want you guys to do things that you enjoy. So let me know if, if, you're, if you're programmed, there's a couple movements or exercises or cardio, whatever it is. There's, if there's things that you don't enjoy, we could talk about that. And we can find things that you actually do enjoy. So it will be less likely for you to opt out. If there's things that you if, – if you actually enjoy what you're doing, it's going to be easier for the ADHD brain to want to do it and just keep following through. But, you know, sometimes that's not an option. So what I like to say is – we can also find ways to make things you don't find enjoyable, enjoyable, you know, and that's by working on our mindset in a, tan in a, in a, in a tangible way. So what I mean by that is, uh, so say you, let's say the bench press again, say you just don't like the bench press, you hate the movement, but we need to do some type of pressing movement to, to grow our chest. So we could either do weighted push-ups, we could do dips, we could do Smith bench, we could do dumbbell. So, and if, if you and if you still don't like any of that, but you still want to grow your chest, it's a Coke Zero. If you, you still want to grow your chest, we can validate ourselves. We can build up some dopamine by letting ourselves know, even though I don't want to do this, I'm going to be proud of myself that I'm going to do it and follow through. And that feeling of validation, that feeling of being proud of you yourself can give you a sense of dopamine so you actually follow through on things that you actually don't want to do. I know having ADHD, it's literally sometimes impossible to follow through on things consistently when you actually don't want to do them. But you can trick your brain in a way as we work on our mindset to understand that, you know, if we do these things that we don't necessarily want to do in the moment, we're going to remind ourselves of how we feel after, how proud we're going to feel after of ourselves and following through on these things that we know is going to create the person that we want to be. So we really have to, instead of staying in procrastination mode or worrying about the actual task, I want you to think about afterwards, how that's going to feel, how proud you're going to be. And that validation in itself can help you cultivate some dopamine around the thing that you don't want to do so you can follow through and actually actually enjoy it. You know, it's like it's like you're proving yourself wrong. It's like you're proving other people wrong. 
So I hope that makes sense, guys. Like if you if you hate waking up early and you know that you should be and you know that's going to like, you know, help you with your journey is waking up early. You know, you can you can tell yourself, create a little friendly competition inside your brain and uh, be like, you know, even though I don't want to do this, I know when I do do this and follow through, I'm going to feel so fucking proud of myself that that thought in itself can cultivate dopamine. So you actually can actually follow through. So always remind yourself of how you're going to feel afterwards and also remind yourself how you're going to feel if you continue to procrastinate on the thing that you know you should be doing. All right, let's get into fitness journey. What does fitness journey mean? A lot of people think it's just like exercise and, and physical results. But really, I believe, you know, the fitness journey is three things. It's exercise, nutrition, and mindset. So that's what we work on all three inside my program. With a 15-minute morning routine, that's a non-negotiable. I, I want all of you guys to be doing that daily. And then with our exercises, our daily mobility, and our workouts, and then with our nutrition, our um, tracking our calories and protein, and just you know prepping our meals and just going for uh, better options that will taste yummy but also help us see results. So I want you to understand that all three of those things are not all for the physical result. These are all brain benefiting activities. Guys, all these things when it comes to working on our mindset, when it comes to our nutrition, when it comes to our workouts, those are all brain benefiting activities that are going to help improve our ADHD symptoms over time if we can stay consistent. All right. How are we going to stay consistent is this last one. We are going to be using our dopamine to fuel our journey. So. How are we going to use our dopamine to fuel our journey? We have to fall in love with the process. It's it's with it's with all of these things in combination, but it's with me holding you accountable, keeping you excited, and keeping it fun. It's with you doing things that are enjoyable, and if and you realizing, you know, when I have you have your checklist, we got to check off a fifteen minute morning routine. Got to get our water. Got to get our steps. Guys, when you check off all your habits and you track all your nutrition, you look back at your day and you're like, damn, I did that shit. That's how we get detached from the result and actually focused on the daily process. Because the, the man or the woman who takes more pride in the steps to achieve the result than the actual result itself cannot be stopped. And that's how we can use our dopamine to fuel our processes is proving to ourselves that we can execute on these daily habits because show me a man's habits or a woman's habits and I'll show you their future. So if you have a habit of not showing up in the app, you're not going to get the results. But if you have a habit of checking shit off, tracking your nutrition, doing your workouts, communicating with me, if you have that as a habit, those are habits, you're going to get amazing results inside the program. So th th this, this whole I'm trying to articulate this in a way to, to so you can understand how to use your dopamine to fuel our journey. But I want you guys to get detached from the result. The I know the end result. You want to be in the best shape of your life, which is which is going to happen. But the only way that's going to happen is if we're consistent, even on the days that we don't want to do it. And we can gain a sense of validation from that. A sense of dopamine that we are, we can do this. We're proving everybody wrong. We are badasses. We can show up even when it's not convenient. And just having that in the back of your head and be like, damn, I just want to be proud of myself. That's the goal each day to be proud of yourself. And I want you to guys to think about that in the morning when you're doing your 15 minute morning routine. How can I be proud of myself? So you look at one step at a time and I want you to get overwhelmed. It's like you're walking in a tunnel. You can't see your way out, but you can see your next step. And that's the next habit. That's the next meal. That's the next workout. That's the next rep. Whatever you're about to do, I want you to focus on that. I, I know I might be going rambling on a tangent, but what I'm saying, guys, is that if we can figure out how to get proud of ourselves each day, the results will follow. And being proud of ourselves feels great. And that's dopamine. Just think about that. That That's... Really, all we want is to be proud of the person that we are. And we're not we, the only way that we're going to be proud of the pe the person that we are is if we thought, listen to listen we what's I'm trying to find the, the the only way that we're going to be proud of the person that we are is if we follow through on our word to ourselves. You know, if you say you're going to do something, you got to do it. 
And you have to understand that you're going to get an immense amount of dopamine, enlightenment, empowerment, and feel so proud of yourself when you do follow through. But a lot of people with ADHD fall into the problem where they think about their goals, they talk about their goals, they 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 and they, they, they already get that dopamine, they oh they already get that sense of validation, and then they don't follow through. But you have to realize that the following through is where it's at. That's where the real dopamine is. So, guys, the goal is to become proud of ourselves each and every day. So that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. Hope you guys got value from this training. I want to keep it short and sweet, but we can stimulate our brain while the body works. Let me know if you have any questions about that. We can do things that we enjoy, but if we can't find things that we, we enjoy because we want to get the results, we need to find ways to make the things that we don't enjoy enjoyable. Fitness journey is three things. It's exercise, nutrition, and mindset. And we are able to use our dopamine to fuel our process, to fuel our journey so we get detached from the end result and we focus on each day because a lot of people are like waiting to be happy. Like I'm not, I'm, I know I'm going to be happy once I get this end result. I know I'm going to be happy when I get my six, when I get my abs, but you could be happy right now when you just follow through on that next habit and you'd be like, this, this is it. Like this, this it's called, it's called a leading indicator. I'm all about leading indicators and, and lagging indicators. So a leading indicator uh, I want to break this down for you guys. A leading indicator, say there's a a, 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 a lagging indicator is the end result. So just say like a kid with a report card, you know, and he's studying and the kid with the report card, he has all straight A's. That's a lagging indicator that, that he did well, you know, he, he got the result. But the leading indicator were that he was doing his homework, he was asking questions, he was showing up, he wasn't late to class. So we need to focus on the leading indicators, and that's showing up in the app, checking off our habits, doing what we need to be doing, and following through each and every day to get the lagging indicator. You know, the, the leading indicator turning the steering wheel. The lagging indicator is the actual car taking the turn. So if you just know 100% fact, if you do these leading indicators, the lagging indicator will eventually happen. So – I want you guys to be happy now. As soon as you get one of those habits done, as soon as you track your nutrition, you need to be like, I'm fucking proud of myself. I did that shit. I'm a badass. Even though I didn't really want to do it, I did it anyway. And now I feel proud. Now I feel dopamine. Now I'm a badass. All right, guys. That was today's live. Hope you got value. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace. If you guys have any questions on this training, just reach out. Okay. I'll see you guys. Peace.